say thank you for joining me and um, I hope everyone's having a great week. Hopefully everyone had an incredible Thanksgiving and uh, I know I'm trying to recover from eating too much, uh, but it's it's good. It's good. God is good. God is amazing and um, he, he's just, he's, he's awesome. God is incredible. I, I want us to um, jump into PDJ and, and what I want us to do is I, I, I titled it Stay Focused and um, it's something that that I believe we as Christians this this is something that we need to do we need to not lose focus and um, we need to stay focused of what's happening and what's going on in our lives and and because we we live in a world of chaos we live in a world of all kinds of things and we live in a world that that it be, can be confusing at times that that you know what we see and, and that's why you know what the scripture says that that we don't live by sight it says it in second corinthians 5 7 for we walk by faith not by sight and and it's something that that we really need to stay focused on is um, our faith in our faith uh, you know in jesus christ because it's easy to to lose focus and i see a lot of christians i see i, I know i've done it at one time and, and I believe that all Christians has probably done it and, and you know and I, I believe that it's easy to fall back on doing it again and, and we see unbelievers and we see believers and it's actually kind of like with in Ecclesiastes if you go through the Ecclesiastes and you can see several things you can see what the the author is is really writing and what he's what's in his heart you can see that that everything has a season whether wealth whether um poverty whether uh you know uh, um joy whether you know going through a valley you know we can see that that weeping has a season laughing has a season so we can see that within ecclesiastes 3 but if you read the whole book we can see that that where the righteous and unrighteous neither one can avoid death right we see that that within the author reading that what he is sowing and what he's working for when he passes away that someone else could reap something that they never worked for and and we see that that God you know what it, it says within his word that you know it, it says Matthew 5 45 that you may be sons of your father in heaven for he makes sun rise on the evil and on the good and sins rain on the just and the unjust so we can see this within Ecclesiastes here's the author saying you know what those who are wise doesn't mean they're going to prosper. Uh, those who are uh, foolish uh, may prosper and have things. And, and we see that good people still go through things. And, and believers uh, might have to go through things. And, and it's easy to start looking and thinking through this that, that okay, well, what, what's it, what good is it to, to be a believer if, if that the, it rains on the just and the unjust, and and the unjust can and have wealth and prosperity here on earth, and and doesn't mean that if you're wise, you know, if you're serving God, that that you, you know, are are you know eliminated. And, and too many times, this is the gospel that we preach, and and Jesus came and and made it very clear that that. If we wasn't going to go through hard times and difficult times, he would have never had to go through the cross. He would have never, never had to pay the price for our sins. He would have never been mocked and and spit on, and the crown of thorns piercing in his head, and and the stripes on his back. It, it would have been a different picture. See, I want us to to stay focused on what we need to stay focused on, because see, whenever I I, I look at the world, I, I see good people in times of suffering i see good people going through things we see job going through things we see peter going through things we see paul going through things we see king david going through things but he's anointed and and he's king but he he's still going through things and things are still happening to him and and you know it, we still weep and we still go through through times of mourning and and we go through through famines and but we have to stay focused because it's easy to to put our eyes somewhere else. It's easy easy to, to to focus on something else. And and I see this within lives. And and then you see this within people that's picking other religions. And well, I can pick this religion because there's this God and there's this God. And and oh, we we have to stay focused that there's one God, and His name is Jesus, Yeshua. He's the Messiah. King of kings, Lord of lords. 
he 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 came and he suffered for us. He came and gave up his life for us. He, he came and took the stripes for us. He came and, and, and was mocked and, and gave up his life for us. He shed his blood for us. But he's the only God, the only King of Kings, because he is the only God and he is the only King and he is the only Lord that conquered death, that raised himself, the resurrection. And see, too many times as, as Christians, we, we start looking at what we're sowing and we might not reap it. We look at that we're, we're wise, but then I'm still going through this. I, I, I believe, but then uh, why am I going through these difficult times? And, and we were never promised as believers that, that we're not going to go through those times. We can prosper, but you know what? There's going to be times of, of, of you know, victory and there's going to be times of famine. There's going to be times of weeping. There's going to be times of mourning. There's going to be times of gathering. There's going to be times of sowing. There's going to be times, you know, to dance. And, and, and I'm here to tell you, we're going to go through different seasons here on earth we're just here for a vapor do we understand that that this isn't our home and i think we lose focus and we make earth our home our, our mansion and we make it heaven and it's not heaven it's not what we get what we receive we can't take with us and that's what you know what you can see within ecclesiastes and you know here here i have wealth but i can't take it with me i have wealth but i i still can't buy buy myself uh you know extra life i'm still going to experience death and and what i sow and what i i i, I work hard in is you know it's going to be someone else's and and you know i i see that the foolish people are prospering and and i see that the you know what the the evil uh, can even I mean, they they have wealth and and why don't i have wealth or well, it doesn't seem right it doesn't seem real it doesn't seem like like this should be happening but we live in the midst of sin here on earth because we ate of the tree we live not in in a world that that is meant for us to stay that we're only here for a vapor we're only here for a short time and see that's why i want us to to realize and we need to do a check that you know it, it's easy to to start looking at things and idolizing things it's easy to start looking at things and questioning things and and we have to realize that god's thoughts are greater than our thoughts he he reigns on the just and the unjust and it, we're just here for a season but but where where are should our focus be our focus should be on eternity should be on heaven should be on uh, you know laying treasures up in heaven something that that we're going to receive for eternity what we get here is not eternity this life is not eternity i don't want to live in the sin nature i don't want to live in in having to to come against fear and come against worry and doubt and and and, and this fight against the wiles of the devil at all times i want my tears wiped away i want to be dancing and in praising god at all times i want a mansion that he built not that i built so we have to stay focused and and it says in first corinthians 9 verse 24 do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may obtain it. And everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. Therefore I run this, not with uncertainty, not with uncertainty. See, he, he's saying that, you know what, Paul's saying that I, I run this race knowing that there's eternity, knowing that that I'm just here for a vapor, knowing that, that this is just a season. I was in the midst of the rabbis and the master teachers and, and I was being put on a pedestal and, and people was glorifying me and I was going around crucifying the churches and, and tearing up and burning down. But then I had this, this trip to Damascus and my eyes was opened and, and Jesus changed to me. And now now those that, that I was with now are, are looking to seek and, and destroy my life and, and they're looking to imprison me and they're coming against me. But you know what? I, I stay focused on eternity. I stay focused on the prize and the prize is my salvation see he continues this i fight not as one who beats the air but a discipline but a dis, a dis discipline my body but i discipline my body and bring it into subjection what he's saying is you know I, i'm staying focused on the race i'm staying focused on on what the prize is and the prize is eternity the prize is is salvation lest when i have preached to others i myself should become disqualified See, he, he, he's, he's saying there that, you know, I, 
I, I want people saved by my preaching. I want people saved by my lifestyle. And, and I want them to see the race of eternity. And, and God forbid, if, if they're not saved by my preaching, it, it, he's real hard on himself. And, and maybe sometimes we should be hard on ourselves and we take a look at our lifestyle that is it really leading people to, to, to win the race? Are, they, are we leading people to, to win the prize and to understand that we're not in competition with anyone? We just got to stay focused on our own race, but we got to teach others to stay focused on their own race that here on earth man god's going to reign on the just and the unjust we don't know if if we think that that what we want for a blessing because someone else gets it means that they're blessed that might be their 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 downfall their their stumbling block that might be what causes them to to come and repent to know god we don't know what is good or bad for others. We don't know what's going to draw them to the Lord. We don't know if it's going to be the pit or the palace that they see God. See, we got to stop focusing on 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 everything that like within Ecclesiastes, you know what? The the fools are 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 seem like they're they are reigning and ruling on the earth. Man, I, I am saved and set apart. Uh, I might not have what the fool has. I might not have what what someone else that is saved has. I, I you know, I, I just got to get my eyes focused. I got to stay focused on my race. I got to stay focused that that I am saved and set apart, and and that's all it's about. It's not about getting something that someone else might have or what I desire or what I want. M my desire is whatever God's will is. See, but it's easy, and I see this too many times, and I've seen this this happen within others, uh, within with serving other gods and serving other religions. I should say that that they come over here and we preach we preach a gospel that you're not going to go through anything. But I'm here to tell you, we preach a gospel. Jesus Christ is the way, Lord of Lord and King of Kings. That when we proclaim that and we live for that, the world's going to hate us. And who, who, who is in the midst of this world? Satan himself, the devil himself, sin himself. So when we come to know the Lord, yes, we can have riches and, and we can have fruit. and But we're going to have some difficult times. We're going to have the world hating us because it hated God you know, at first. So we have to stay focused that, that through good times that we don't give our hearts to the good times. We don't give our hearts to the blessing. We have to stay focused that we're running a race and the race is salvation. That I want to please God and I want to lay up treasures in heaven and, and I want to come and, and be in that mansion and, and I want to be like the other angels that sing holy, holy, holy at all times, bowing down to our Lord of Lords and King of Kings that saved us, that created us. And whenever we're in the bad times, we, we can't look around and say, you know what? I don't know why I'm saved because I'm going through this difficult time. Well, I'm here to tell you Jesus Christ was saved. <laughs> he wasn't saved. He's God. Amen. And I use it as a metaphor because he came down as a man and he took upon him all all the sin and all the iniquities without sin or without iniquities, he took it upon himself and paid the price. He came down and bore that and took it because we couldn't. Did he have to? Absolutely not. But look at the word of God that walked here on earth. He was spit on, ridiculed, mocked. Do, do you not think that when we accept Jesus Christ, do you not think whenever I serve Jesus Christ, do you not think when I have a lifestyle pleasing to Jesus Christ, do you not think that when I exalt Jesus Christ that the world is not going to come against me? The world is going to try to throw anything and everything. But my God, my God, will be the strength of my life. My God is able to get me through all things. My God is able to make the crooked places straight. But if he chooses not to, my God will walk with me through those crooked places. My God will walk with the fiery, the fiery furnace with, it, with me. My God will be in the lion's den with me. My God. See, we have to get our focus on God. Too many times, and, and I, I'm telling you, I'm talking to the church right now because too many times the church, we're focused on everything else, what we can get, what we can do, uh, about riches, about things that we can't take with us. I, I'm all for wealth and I'm all for having things, but I, I, I'm not for those things having us. I'm not for poverty having us and I'm not for wealth having us. Do, we, do, do you understand? Because I believe it's important that, that, that we stay focused. That whatever I have to go through, praise God. Whatever God blesses me with, praise Him. I'm going to be content in all things. We have to stay focused that, that we're just here. 
for a season. God reigns on the just, he reigns on the unjust. See, that's where it comes by having faith. That we have to live by faith. It says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. And how do we build that faith? That it says in Matthew 4.4, 4, it says, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You know what that means? That means I have to have faith in the word of God. That this is the word of God. This is the, the word from the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. This is inspired. It might be written by man, but the author is Holy Spirit. That means I have to understand that Jesus Christ, he raised himself from the dead. He was baptized with the Holy Spirit. He baptizes us. We, we come and know Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit lives within us. That I have all power that Christ has because of Holy Spirit that lives with me. I need to stay focused that, that I can come against the wiles of the devil. And you know what? The the wiles of the devil wants to do the wiles of the devil wants to destroy us wants us to be dead to experience death to experience hell with him because that's where he's going to be that's the ultimate fight right we're too busy fighting for things in this world that doesn't matter when we should be fighting for the things that matter, our salvations, the salvation of those lost souls, uh, Christians that call themselves Christians, but they don't know God and God doesn't know them. And they're going to hear, depart from me because I don't know you. I know you carried your Bible and I know you prayed at your meal, but I have no relationship with you. That's what we need to be focused on. We need to be focused on the real reason for this season is the birth of Christ. Jesus Christ came as King of Kings and saved his people. And all I have to do is believe that's the difference with us. Our religion is Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. But if we want to look and live by faith through our eyes, we're going to miss it. We're going to build this place a heaven. We're going to build here on earth a heaven. We're going to build a mansion that we think we've done it. We're, we're going to pat ourselves on the back. We're going to have pride and arrogance. And we're going to go to hell and we're going to split it wide open. We need to stay focused. Focused that Jesus Christ is King of kings, Lord of lords. That whatever I walk through, if it's difficult and it's not getting any better, that's okay. Because I'm staying focused that, that I live by the word of God. I, I eat of the word of God. I really don't need this physical food because I have spiritual food. And I'm able to, to come against the wiles of the devil. And the wiles of the devil, do you think the devil really... You know, how many mansions has the devil given to people that sold out their heart to the devil? How many mansions have the de so you know what I mean it, the, the the mansion doesn't mean anything the heart after God confessing him Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior is everything because the devil could put you in poverty the devil could put you in wealth but God can reign on the just and the unjust with wealth or poverty to move them to for him to be 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 glorified in their lives see God tests too but see, we have an adversary that's out here trying to destroy God's people. That's trying to keep the unbelievers as, as unbelievers. Because, you know, why, why should I serve a God and you're driving a 2007 Honda, you know, a Civic that has almost 200,000 miles on it. You're not blessed with a Mercedes. You're not blessed with a, 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 a Yukon Denali. You're not blessed with a multi-million. But you know what? You, you're not living by faith. In Jesus Christ, because it says in Hebrews 11, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I don't see my treasures in heaven, but I know they're there. I don't see my mansion that's built, but I know it's there because I know that Jesus Christ came and died for me, that I'm saved and set apart. And that's what matters. Whether I'm dwelling in a tent here, whether I'm dwelling in this home here, whether I'm dwelling in a cardboard box under the bridge, or whether I'm dwelling in a multi-million dollar mansion, you have to know that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. You need a relationship with Jesus. That's the race that we're running. It's not anything of this world. Let's get our eyes off of these things of the world. Let's get our eyes. As a Christian, you're going to go through some things. You're going to go through some difficulties. It's not always going to be good. Just as, as the, the author of Ecclesiastes, you know, it's going to be kind of confusing if we look at the world because I see the fool prospering. I, I see a thief prospering and I see the wise not. I see a man of God. You're going through some difficult times, but the, the unbelievers are not going through these difficult times. It's easy, but you know what? We have to stay focused. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. See, when we stay focused and content, we know that it's all about Him. 
Look at the disciples. But what a great example of the disciples. They were business owners, right? Some of them were. Some was a doctor. Some was a tax collector. Some of them, you know, they, they were doing pretty good, weren't they? Paul was doing pretty good. What happened whenever they decided to follow Jesus? Some prospered, but some didn't. They prospered spiritually. They grew. They knew Jesus because they were focused on salvation. They were focused on eternity. Do you see? Do you see through the Bible? See, we want to pick the things that, that, you know, that matter here on earth. I'm here to tell you, let's stay focused on what matters in heaven. Get our sight off of the things here on earth. And let's start focusing on the things that really matter to God. What matter to God? His word. Being obedient to his word. Loving him. Having a relationship with him. Not the world. Not what we have. He can bless us with everything. You think we'll be lacking? No. Because he provides. He takes care of. Let's start focusing on what we need to focus on. Eternity. If we start focusing on his kingdom and his righteousness, it says what well, all things will be added to us. But you know what the problem is? Is we want or we have already defined the things that would be added to us. So when we don't receive it, we don't continue to follow him. Because we've already predefined. How about all things will be added to us? You know what? Salvations, treasures in heaven, blessings, power, authority. Oh, you know what? That that you know what? Temptation will flee. The wiles of the devil will flee. Uh, torment will flee. Fear will flee. Oh, I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty darn good, doesn't it? I've had enough torment. I've had enough fear. I've had enough worry and doubt. I've had enough. Oh, you know what? How about if we just start trusting and putting our confidence in God, seeking the kingdom, Him first, His righteousness. And all things will be added unto us. What's all things? His word, his righteousness, his wisdom, his knowledge, the fruit of the spirit. That, you know, it doesn't matter what happens here. I, I'm just content. I'm here to tell you, we, we got to get focused. And what we, we got to get focused on is there's one race. And it's salvation. And it's having a relationship with Jesus Christ. It's not anything of the world. That's why I've seen so many people leave Christianity. That's why I've seen so many people that, that don't have a relationship with God because they're not focused. They're not focused on salvation, eternity. And it's sad. And that's why many, many, broad is the way to destruction. And what? Narrow? I want us on that narrow path. It says in Hebrews 12 too, looking into Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. I'm going to close with that. Because if you didn't get what it said, I I'm going to try to explain it, but you need to read it. A king of kings, the Lord of lords, came off the throne, birthed by a virgin. We celebrate. This is the season. The reason for the season. It's not Santa Claus. It's Jesus Christ. There's no such thing as Santa Claus. There's no flying reindeer. The only flying reindeer is if you put it in a slingshot and shoot it across the field. That's it. I'm just being honest because we need the truth. Because salvation's everything. I need kids growing up believing in Jesus Christ. Not 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 some some red you know dressed outfit, heavy set, obese guy that that has a white beard, probably has lunch in it from the day before. That lives in in a place in in no man's land and and, and drives around with a bunch of deer. I'm sorry, I don't mean to you know to just rain upon someone's Christmas beliefs, but I'm here to tell you the truth because we got to get focused. I'm just, it's in my heart today. Did you understand? Looking into Jesus, the author, finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, the joy that was set before him, the joy to know that his children are going to be saved and set apart. Those who, who, who believe in him, those who, who stay focused on him are going to be saved and set apart, have eternity, life. Think about that. Despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Think about it. He came off his throne. He came and took everything 
that we deserve upon him raised himself and sets back at the throne i'm here to tell you there's something that is so important about salvation and eternity that we need to stay focused on but the devil is a liar and an author of it and he's taken too many individuals and he's twisted the word of god god wants you blessed but define blessing he wants you blessed in heaven more than he does here on earth. He wants you saved over anything else. If God came down and he was sitting there and you're asking for a Lamborghini, you're asking for a $10 million home, I'm not saying that God doesn't want to give you that. Praise God. You, you, those who work are, are, are going to be rewarded, are going to prosper. I'm not saying God doesn't want you to prosper, but what I'm saying is, is if you're choosing, if God, if you're asking God to choose whether you be saved and have a relationship with Him, or you have a mansion or, or everything that you want, what, what, what do you think He's going to pick? Come follow me. Come follow me. Come follow me. I've saved you. I'm the way. Come follow me. See, just as the author within Ecclesiastes looked and he's, he, he's watching all this, he realized that, you know, no matter who you are, righteous, unrighteous, a believer, unbeliever, you're going to die. You're going to go through things. You're going to go through difficulties. But God, but God, let's stay focused on what we need to stay focused on. That's the kingdom of God. That's salvation, eternity, Jesus Christ, Lord of Lord, King of Kings. Father, I thank you, Father God, Lord, for this word. I just, I just pray, Father God, Lord, that I was able to get this out the way you wanted it, because it's so much in my heart, Father God, Lord, that that we've just lost focus, just as, just as Father God, Lord, individuals in this world that we lose focus, and and Father God, Lord, we start trying to obtain the things that, that we shouldn't obtain. We start looking at the things that we shouldn't be looking at. We, we Father God, Lord, that we make here on earth heaven, and it's not. That, Lord, Father God, we lose focus that we're just here for a vapor, that eternity's everything, Father God. Lord, that we are laying up treasures in heaven, Father God. Lord, that you're building a mansion for us, that we're going to be in a place that we can praise you, holy, holy, holy to you at all times where time doesn't exist, sorrows doesn't exist, all fear doesn't exist, nothing like that exists but your word, your love. Father, just let it set into our hearts, Father God. Help us to stay focused on salvation, eternity, and not this vapor of a life. I pray this, Father God, Lord, upon each and every heart and each and every mind, in the name of Yeshua. Amen, amen. God's amazing, guys. God's amazing. Let's stay focused on what matters. And it's Jesus. Amen? Love you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, there is not Bible study tomorrow night because it's the fifth Wednesday. But we'll be back here Thursday morning for prayer. And then right back here for service and Sunday school um, for Sunday. So we love you guys. Uh, you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.